Well, you read this right. And I read this right. I had to check this numerous different times because, okay, it's a post-millennial, okay. Okay, whoa, good God. So, the Federmeister checks himself into Walter Reed for clinical depression. Now, we told you libprogs out there that this was going to happen. He may not last the year. The guy is obviously addled to the point to where he was just in the hospital for X amount of days for having issues. What those issues are, who knows? Then now this. He's in Walter Reed, Reed right now for clinical depression. You libprogs in Pennsylvania, the majority of you, voted for a guy that has clinical depression. Yes, you libprogs out there, you leftists, you communists, and socialists. I didn't even like <laughs> Mehmet Oz, but in the face of all of what's going on, I'd rather have Oz in there than some guy that's going to Walter Reed with clinical depression. And this is going above and beyond what I usually say about these leftists and communists and socialists infecting who are embedded in our government. I wish he gets well. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying that. But I do. Oh, I'm trying to be more Christian-like, if you will. And it's really, really excruciatingly, excruciating hard. Probably messed that word up. Don't care. I'm not going to go back and edit that. Hard to be nice to people that want me in a ditch. Extremely hard. So let's go and read. I'm not going to go too far into it. It's kind of a big article. It's, um, so on today, confirming that the Pennsylvania congressman has checked himself into Walter Reed Medical Center to receive treatment for clinical depression. So we'll go ahead and read this breaking. Uh, this is last night, Senator John Fetterman checked himself into Walter Reed National Military Medical Center to receive treatment for clinical depression. While John has experienced depression off and on throughout his life, it only becomes severe in recent weeks. Well, yeah, you had... You've had a brain issue, a stroke, and you didn't fully recover. And so you thought, nah, it'll be all right. I'll run for U.S. Senate because the people, the half the people in the Pennsylvania are complete morons. They're libprogs and they would vote for a bag of poop if you put a D on it. That's just how it is. So it was, uh, Monday was valued by this doctor, the attending physician in the United States Congress, uh, Dr. Monahan, recommended in patient care at Walter Reed. John agreed and he is receiving treatment on a voluntary basis. Well, that's good. At least it's not involuntary. After examining John, the doctors at Walter Reed told us that John is getting the care he needs and will soon be back to himself. Now, if you believe that, then you're a lib prog and no one should trust you. You've obviously been compromised and whatever you say cannot be trusted. Listen, I have empathy for people who have had such brain ailments. I've had a grandmother who had a trans ischemic stroke probably a couple different times. It's a stroke that you just don't know about, they don't know about, but then they start acting odd, repeating the same stories, getting upset pretty easily. I wouldn't say depression, maybe in my stance, but or my instance, but yeah, he, the, you're, they're never themselves after a stroke. Maybe in some cases there are. I'm not the stroke god over here, so I don't know. I'm not a physician, so I don't know. But what I've seen in the past with family members and friends who've had such strokes, even when I was in the military, they were never the same quite well or quite afterwards, really ever. It's your brain gets gets cheesed up and it's your brain is working overtime to reconnect those, those neurons and those pathways. And sometimes it takes longer than six months. And also... What doesn't help if you're on the campaign trail stressed out? That doesn't help either. Stress on the body is usually bad. There are some good stresses, by the way, such as exercise, uh, keeping your mind, you know, fluid, and, you know, sharp, you know, with, you know, Sudico or whatever you have, watching Jeopardy, reading. That's good stress. You're stressing your mind to open up new pathways. But unfortunately for John Fetterman, you see what's going on here and I don't like the guy. And it, like I said, it pains me to say, I wish the best for him, wishing usually, I usually wish the worst for these people. But in this instance, I don't think the stroke was his fault. And to suggest that, you know, 
how dare you go after God? That's obviously yeah, I know, and, and uh, but I know for a fact that these these ghouls out in the media and in our government who t- strap a D or a F left on their left on their you know on their chest, they're socialists and communists. They wish the worst for me, and I kind of want to stop doing that, wishing the the worst right back on them. But what are you gonna do, right? I. <laughs> I can only be the best I can be. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, let's see here. Uh, he was uh, hospitalized last week for health reasons. And he was uh, feeling lightheaded and at a Democratic retreat. I'm pretty sure they weren't worshipping the <laughs> Moloch in any way, like at the Bohemian Grove. I'm sure that didn't happen. I'm sure it did. Anyways, um, what you're supposed to do to do to do to recover from this is do as little as possible. The head of the staffer said. Um, however, according to him, Fetterman apparently was forced to do as much as possible. He had to get back on to the campaign trail. It's hard to claw that that back. Jettleson said. Um, so yeah, so. He was forced to go back out there. He says, some voters we've spoken to in recent days say they still have some doubts about your health. What would you say to them if they try to convince them otherwise? And here's what Fetterman says. I would say we have shown more and shared more kinds of medical evaluation, more than virtually anyone unless you're running for president. Yeah, but you're obviously addled and people are concerned because you're one one hundredth of the Senate. You know, you're in a populous state. You basically in a roundabout way, lied to people about your health status, even though you said you put it out, but you weren't telling us the truth. Case in point, what was really going on. Now you've checked yourself into Walter Reed and the doctor said, you'll be back on your feet in no time. No, that's not how this works. If you have clinical depression, you just don't go away to the doctor for a couple days, get fixed and come back. That just doesn't work. There's there's a lot of work beyond that for you to... And to say that, it's it's amazing. Like I said in my first video about this chucklehead, that he is a rubber stamp. So as long as he can stamp a yes vote to whatever the potato out there is pushing down the pipeline, it doesn't matter how how addled John Fetterman is. It doesn't matter how many times he visits the do- the doctor's office. It doesn't matter how many times he checks himself in to Walter Reed for clinical depression. As long as he can punch that ticket for yes on whatever D initiative it is, it doesn't matter how bad he is. His wife obviously, I, I can't say that, or can I? If his wife was his wife in reality, she would say, John, knock this crap off. You can't do this. I love you more than you carrying on our legacy into the white in, you know into the senate you got to stop this this is this is insane obviously i'm making uh, assumptions here but what other assumptions can i make this is the evidence i have given to me um yeah that's basically it and uh it was a dr phil was on joe rogan this was on a clip down there he was saying like uh they're talking about this and uh dr phil says something like uh If you had some guy that had clinical depression, paraphrasing, of course, that uh, he was mentally addled, had a stroke, would you want him to be your pilot? No, you wouldn't. That's insane. You don't want someone like this in the halls of our government who has clinical depression, enough so bad that he has to go to Walter Reed, or he's just been in the hospital last week because he felt lightheaded, barely got out, now he's checking himself into Walter Reed. This is insane. I feel sorry for the guy. I feel bad for him. But you should be at nowhere near the powers that a senator of one of the most populous states we have, you should be nowhere near that. But yet, there again, here we are. We're we're in this. This is real life. This isn't a fantasy. He's in, he's in the hospital right now for clinical depression. And what do the libprogs out there have to say? Nah, it'll be all right. No, no, it will not be all right. This is not all right. This is wrong. This is completely 100% wrong. If you care about this guy, let him resign. 